How do you build a website that tells a story? In this video, I'll walk you through how I built this design step by step. Just look how perfectly it locks into place every time I scroll. And I haven't even showed you the best part yet. Because if I click this button, you will see a beautiful next generation slider built with no plugins, just Elementor. And yes, I'll provide you with all the images and code to rebuild this yourself. Let's get started. All right. First, we'll create the storytelling design. And then at the end of the video, we'll create the custom slider. But before I reveal how to create this design, just know that if you want to skip the design frustration, you can import this entire project from my template library here. Link will be in the description below. But for those of you who just want to build this yourself, let's jump back in and begin. So the first thing we'll do is create the container. This is the main container where all the content will be inside. And by the way, up here in page settings, you can see that I'm using the page layout Elementor Canvas. So the next thing is really important, and that is to right click and then find this structure. This is also called the navigator. And this is really important because we have a clear overview of all the containers. So this will be the main container. And then I'll move it over here. This container needs to be full width. So I'll change it over here and make sure this is set to 100 percentage. Then I jump into advanced and make sure here that you unlink this padding and then we'll insert our first CSS class. So you'll need to navigate to this link. You'll find this in the description below and copy the first CSS class here like this and then go back and insert it. We'll use this for later. Okay, so inside this main container, I will drag in a new container and this will be the first hero section. So what you need to do is find this container element widget and drag it in. And then again over here, rename it so it's hero one. Then we navigate to style because we need to insert the background image. So now you need to go to this link again and click here so you can download this folder of all the images. So you need to select the first image, which is this one, and then click center center for the position and down here in display size click cover then we'll navigate back to the layout here because we need to set this to full width 100 percentage and here this is important the height needs to be in view height vh and set this to 100 so it covers the entire screen and then here in justify content just choose center and actually one thing i forgot Inside the main container, I'll just navigate back to that and find layout and scroll down here in additional options. Set this to overflow hidden. So every content that goes outside the normal page content will not be visible. It will be hidden. Great. Let's go ahead and add in the image. So I'll find the image widget and drag it in here. And this will be our pink planet with the clouds. So in your folder, this is called one hero planet. So I'll select this and insert it. Hey, it's Nilay from the future here. I forgot to mention that the image resolution should be set to full so the clouds don't look pixelated. Then go inside advanced and make sure the margin 100 but minus. You'll see why in a moment. Then I'll go down to set index and choose 5. And now we need to insert a CSS class. So I'll navigate back to this and copy the next one so these are all in order i'll just copy this one moon and go back and write it in here all right so the last thing i'll add inside this hero section is a heading so i'll drag in the head heading widget here and make sure it's above the image and then write something christopher nolan would say maybe unseen universe and then make sure it's an h1 and go to style and center it and then change it to this cool font that i can't pronounce i think it's oxanium and then change the size to 90 and the weight to 100 uh, sorry 800 and of course the color should be white then we go inside advanced and here in margin make sure that the top is 40 pixels and the bottom should be 140 but minus so now you can see it's behind the moon. If your text doesn't go behind the moon, click on the moon image, go to the advanced setting and then add a negative top marking. 
Now you already have three layers of content, the moon, title and the background. But the bottom still looks a bit weird, but we'll fix that in a moment because there is something important we need to do before. And that's this snap scroll effects that happen each time I scroll where the container locks in. You can see here in my template library that I have a plain version of this. Let's check out the live demo. This is just plug and play where you can insert your own content. Really easy. To achieve this, you need to go inside this link again where the code is and copy the next one, section one, and go back inside and find hero one and navigate to advanced here and scroll down. And this time you will insert this in the CSS idea instead. And then we'll go back to this link and copy the next one. This is just section without the number one and insert it here in CSS classes. Then we'll go ahead and duplicate this four times. So we now have four hero sections and then I will rename them just quickly. There you go. Now we have four and to remove this white space between all of them, you'll need to go to the main container and find these gaps and just set it to zero. Then I'll go ahead and navigate to hero 2 and go inside advanced because this needs to have a different CSS and class. So I will navigate to the code link again and choose the next one. This is section 2. I'll just copy that and go back and insert it here in the CSS ID. And the next one here should just be section. I'll copy that. It's actually already here, but I'll just insert it here and just do that to the other hero section. So the only thing that changes is actually the number here that matches the hero section. I'll just quickly fast forward and do that. Great. Let's take a look at this in live preview. All right. So as you can see, as I scroll down, it's not snapping. And that's because we need to add a menu and some code. So this is the fun part and where it all comes together. So I'll navigate back here and then scroll to the top and start creating the menu because the menu is necessary in order for this to work. So I'll create a container and rename it over here menu and this should be full width. Then I go into style and make sure it's transparent like this. Let's go into advanced and remove the padding and change the position to fixed and set this to zero and zero and the set index should be 99 so it's on top of everything then let's drag in a new container here inside this and this should be boxed and the width should be 1300 then go to advanced and then we need to insert the first css class in the menu so i'll go to my link here and scroll up to the css classes and find this navbar and copy this then I'll go back and insert it here. And one thing I forgot, inside layout you need to change the direction to right. So now we'll insert a new container inside that one. I know it's a lot of containers, but just use my navigator over here to make sure you have the same amount. So this new container, you need to make sure it's full width and then duplicate it. This is the last container inside the menu. So you have two here. And then we go to the first one again, make sure it's this one and then go to the code and copy this logo and insert it inside CSS classes and then find a new widget, the heading widget and drag it in here and then go back to the code link and scroll down here to menu and copy this one, this text and insert it here. And let's just quickly change it to pixel 17 so it's not that big and change it to the font we are using. Change the color to white so we can see it. And maybe click on this container and the layout to make sure that the justify content is centered so the content is in the middle. Then click on this heading and go to advanced and then again go back to the code here and copy the next logo the last one was also logo so that's why there is two then i'll go back and insert it in the css class here and the other container over here that's just where the menu should be it's not that important what you put inside here i'll just quickly put something in so it doesn't look empty all right so now it's finally time to add the custom code so everything will snap on scroll so to do that scroll down to the bottom and search for uh, the widget HTML widget, drag it in, then go back to the code link here and copy this CSX CSS code. I'll click copy and go back and insert it here. Then you'll just 
uh, duplicate this and don't worry the visitors can't see this section so you duplicate it and click on the last one here and go back in and copy the javascript code you can see we are almost at the end of this so i'll just go ahead and click copy and insert it here in the last one instead of the css i just duplicated there you go okay now let's publish and see if it works all right there you go that's so satisfying Okay, so now we actually only need to add the bottom layer here and then change all the images, of course, and then add an animation so the moon is moving all the time. And after that, that's it for the first part of this project. Then we'll move on to the next one, the slider. So let's go inside the Elementor editor again and create the bottom. So I'll go in the main container and find hero one. And I need to create a new container, but to save some time, I'll just click duplicate this. So we have two hero one containers and then rename this to bottom one. And then of course, make sure to delete the content inside. And let's remove the height width of 100 view height and just set it to pixels and go inside the uh, style to change the background. And here you will have to find this bottom hero one image select. And then I go inside advanced here and inside the margin, I'll unlock this and up here minus 460. So the image is on top of the other one. And actually we need to add a set index so it's on top. So there you go, now you can see it. And I can see because we duplicated this section, it still has a CSS class, but the bottom does not need any ID or classes. So delete that one. And then we'll scroll a bit up, add in the last thing in this bottom, and that is a spacer. I'll just drag it in and make sure it's also 460 pixels in the height okay so now you can see it's really beginning to look like the final result let's just preview it okay there is something wrong with the rock over here so let's just change this to 700 pixels and the bottom image itself change that to 650 and now we can preview it again so there you go now it's more natural so now let's add the animation so the moon is moving so navigate to the code link again and scroll down here to where it says moon and then copy this and go back and then find the moon image which is here and go inside advanced and scroll down and here in custom CSS you'll add this. So now you can see it's actually moving and what's really cool is that you can change the speed here it's 5 seconds right now but I'll just change it to 10 because it's a bit slower and more natural. All right, I also like the background to be moving. So I go ahead and find the hero one background and go inside advanced and here custom CSS. And then I just go back to the link and copy this one down here and insert it. So now you can see the background is also moving, which is really cool. So now let's just publish it and view it in a new tab. Great, that looks awesome, right? So let's go back. Now it's just a matter of duplicating this on all the hero sections. So I will change the background image and add the animation on all of four hero sections. But I'll just fast forward because this is just the same principle I just showed you. Great, so there you go. That's the first part of the project. One thing I forgot to mention is that this uh, logo actually changes every time I scroll down. So just so you know, if you want to change these words, you of course change the first part up here. And the last part here where it says game, you need to find the code here at the bottom, the last code. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see here game, journey, and so on. So just change these words and then the, it will change when you scroll. If you want to know how to make this design responsive, I will leave a link in the comments for optimizing on mobile and tablet. Early in this video, I promised to show you how to create that next generation slider. But instead of squeezing it in here, I made a full separate video where I show you exactly how to build it. You can watch it here, it's free.